The real issue that we uh, have to deal with in the case of the origin of life is, um, is it a sort of long pathway of increasing complexification where um, uh, this uh, property begins to be manifested, then that one, then that one, and it all sort of comes together at the end? Or was it more uh, like a phase transition in physics where everything would spring into existence all in one go and suddenly there it would be, like um, uh, gas bursting into flame? Uh, we don't even know whether it was a gradual pathway or an abrupt transition. And when we talk about the origin of life, I think most people have the impression that um, there's a mishmash of chemicals and then suddenly something amazing happens and uh, hey presto, it's alive. I, I uh, think in all honesty, a lot of people are, are, are even confuse it, the people who aren't familiar with the area that, oh, I presume Darwinian evolution sort of accounts for the origin of life. But of course, you don't get an evolutionary process until you've got a self-replicating molecule, something that evolution can then go yeah, to I work mean, It's a really important point because Darwin himself would not be drawn on the origin of life. He said one might as well speculate about the origin of matter. Uh, so it's a wonderful quote, particularly as physicists have now explained the origin of matter. So, you know, can we now explain the origin of life? Um, uh, he, he did speculate about a scenario, uh, but uh, of course you're absolutely right. His, uh, he gave us a theory of evolution about how life has evolved over billions of years from simple microbes to the complexity of the biosphere we see today. But he uh, didn't want to tangle with how you go from non-life to life. And for me, that's a much bigger step uh, because mm -hmm. when people say, uh, well, you, uh, explain the, today's biosphere, you know, it's amazing. Um, uh, the, the transition from the earliest microbes to what we see today, of course, it's an it's enormous amount of complexification, but it's got nothing on that first step of going from a mishmash of chemicals to the first living thing, because almost all the complexity in the biosphere is in the individual organisms, not in the, mm. in the uh, mm. subsequent ecology and everything else. Yeah.